Here we begin our exploration of the idea of diagonalization. Now, one of the best possible situations that can occur when working with similar matrices is when a square matrix is similar to a diagonal matrix. And as we will see shortly, whether a matrix is diagonalizable is closely related to the ideas of eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix. So let's begin by thinking about the definition of diagonalization. So we say that an n by n matrix A is diagonalizable if there is a diagonal matrix D such that matrix A is similar to matrix D. Now, since matrix A is similar to matrix D, we know that matrix A is diagonalizable if there exists an n by n invertible matrix P such that the inverse of matrix P times matrix A times matrix P is equal to the diagonal matrix D. So let's go ahead now and look at an introductory example of the idea of diagonalization. Show that matrix A is diagonalizable. And we are given three two by two matrices. We have our matrix A, we have the diagonal matrix D, and we have matrix P. Now, by definition, we know that a two by two matrix A is diagonalizable if there is a diagonal matrix D, such that matrix A and matrix D are similar. So let's confirm here that matrix A and matrix D are in fact similar by showing that matrix A times matrix P is equal to matrix P times matrix D. So applying the row column rule to find the product of matrix A and matrix P, we have the first row times the first column is one plus three, First row times the second column is three minus six. Second row times the first column is two plus two. Second row times the second column is six minus four. And so we are left with the beautiful final answer of four, negative three, four, negative two. So now, again, we want to use the row column rule to find the product of matrix P with matrix D. So we have the first row times the first column is 4 plus 0. First row times the second column is 0 minus 3. Second row times the first column is 4 plus 0. Second row times the second column is 0 minus 2 which leaves us with a beautiful final answer of four, negative three, four, negative two. And would you look at that? We have the same resulting two by two matrix. Woohoo! And giving us a little bit more room here for our final answer. So we have verified here that matrix A times matrix P equals matrix P times matrix D, which lets us know that matrix A is similar to matrix D, and therefore, matrix A is diagonalizable. So this is our beautiful final answer. Now, I want you to keep in mind that we used A times P equals P times D to verify that matrix A was similar to matrix D, but you could have also used the logically equivalent statement that matrix D is equal to the inverse of matrix P times matrix A times matrix P to verify A is diagonalizable. The only thing with using that case is you have to find the inverse of matrix P, but since P is a cute two by two matrix, that won't take too long. Now, in this example, I gave you matrix A, the diagonal matrix D, and matrix P. So you may be asking yourself, how do we find such a diagonal matrix? Or how do we find such a matrix P? Well, have no fear. We will be exploring how to do this later in this section.